Hello guys, the Omega Gamer here on another video for Space Engineer. On this video, I will actually be showing you how to make a easy uh crap my brain just broke. Uh oh, projector and uh how to make an easy projector system that makes to break automatically take stuff from projector blueprint and automatically attach it to something. I don't know. I suck at explanations. Whatever, I'll just show you. Anyways, to start off, I will show you all on Xbox how to get blueprints. Vehicle blueprints, to be specific. In order to get a vehicle blueprint, you need to, well, already have a vehicle made, like this uh, welder rover I made for construction. And these are floors, anyways. Which you can get. Anyways, if you want to use a... Uh, you want to use it as a blueprint, then all you have to do, actually, probably let it go. Oh, I should actually say before I let it go, when you're taking the blueprint from, like, let's say you just built something and you want to add it to a projector to make another copy of it, make sure for this tutorial, you have a merge block on the bottom of it. Just, you know, be careful, because this whole plank likes to screw people over. Oh, whatever, you get the gist. Just make sure the merge block is on the bottom of it. I'm going to try to make this as short and easy as possible. Maybe that's enough. There we go. The reason why you have to detach it from landing gear, because if you try to create as a blueprint as it's attached, attached to like, well, since that block all connected to all of this, it'll end up saving all of that since it'll count as one singular grid. At least for sometimes, I don't know, sometimes it's weird. But anyways, in order to save it as blueprint, you want to press in your right joystick, and then go over to blueprint actions over here, and then go over to create blueprint. And once you do that, it'll lag a little bit, and then it'll send you over here. As you see, I already have one anyways, so just kind of do the case, just to give y'all an idea of what it should look like. But anyways, now that y'all have that understanding under Ray, let's get on to the projector. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh well, yeah, landing gear. First part, you're gonna want landing gear as soon as my. There it is. Now, depending on what type of projector you're making, there are two type of grids for all you new players. There is small grid and big grid. A big grid is basically considered what these huge blocks are. Uh, for example, this one. This is considered a big grid. Meanwhile, small grid are these tiny ones. Like that. This is considered a small grid. And it's a big pain in the ass to build either, honestly. But anyways, the point is, uh, considering how my rover is a small grid, you want a small grid projector. If you want to make something massive, like, like I said, with the big grid blocks, you need to make a regular projector. Which is a large grid projector, which is like that piece. I didn't show you an example. Tab is in the Here it is, right here. Production of medical. This projector is a large grid, which is what is used to make large grid ships and rovers. However, what we want is a small grid projector, which is a baby one, which is a door. Now to start off, you want to make a landing gear, small grid, etc. You should pretty much understand this part. Small grid for, uh, well, small grid ships, of course. And then if you wanted to make a big one for, let's say, a big grid, you'd want that. I will guess I'll show you how to make both. The problem is I can't show the 
for an example for the large grid because I don't have any large grid ships technically. But anyways. Did I make that high enough? Yes, I did. Okay. Now, what you want to do if you're before you wonder what the battery is for, the battery is to power the projector and the uh, projector and the my brain isn't working. I'm sorry. Uh. Okay. Actually, to be fair, you actually don't really need it for the piston, but I add the piston. I would recommend adding a piston if you're, uh, making a ship. And also, with this design, you can get creative with it and build it in, like, specific places and ways to make it to where you can... Uh, make basically a construction chamber. I have actually seen a design for one, and it's actually hella dope. But it's a massive pain to make. So, you know, if you want to get creative, you can. I'd use a piston, depending on if you make that room, but if you're just gonna make one out in the open like I do... You know what? Actually, even then, yes, we'll just do with the piston. I don't know what I was thinking. Now that I'm thinking about it, I second guess myself, I'm sorry. Uh, on top of that, we are going to want to add a merge block. Like I said before, the merge block is the most important. Come on, stick to it. Most important part to, to this whole setup here, because it is what will be dead. What is what we'll be needing to add to the bottom of this. So that way, when we uh, use the projector, it'll actually stick to it. Because most of the time, in order to use the projector. But I can understand you need to connect it to a grid. Like a, like you need to actually connect to a grid with the projector. However, you can bypass that little trick with the smart block to make it easier. But now since you have that and the battery set up, all you're needing now is a control panel to control all of these things. And ta-da! That's how you do this part. Now, to actually load up the blueprints, which is this tutorial step, you need to go into the control panel, go over to the projector, go over to blueprints, and then just select the blueprint. For example, we're going to do the rover. I'm going to ignore that. I don't know why it always tells me that. Now, this is where things get a little fucky. I don't know why does this kind of crap, where you have to actually rotate it and all that stuff. I don't know why I can't just put it, you know, straight. Oh no, wait, I need to do it this way. However, if you want to straighten it out, just, uh, hold on. Oh, crap. That did not help. Uh, so we need to roll it. I would always use these bottom two settings for the roll and yaw. Oh wait, it was on right the first time. Okay. All you literally have to do is just use yaw and you can freaking straighten it out. Now, we need to get it forward to the ground. You will have to learn these controls sadly because it is a massive pain to just explain honestly. I don't think there is any way I could tell you how to do this effectively, because I barely know how to do it effectively. So what I would honestly recommend is you just, depending on how you make the setup, I would just play with it for a bit on your end. Why is it not taking this control? And what you're wanting to aim for is making it to where the merge block under, let's, like the rover. You want to make sure that it connects. You need to back it up. Which one was backing up again? Okay, that one's the backup. So forward is to back it up. 
depending, I think it's depending on how you put on the projector, it might change the controls a bit. I have not experimented that far with it. So we need to make it to go three forward. Yeah, sometimes it likes to not actually work right. Uh, was that one enough? Okay, yep, now I just need to move it closer. Closer, I'm pretty sure it's horizontal. Yep. Now, is it high enough? No, we need to lower it by one more. Wait, no, wait, I'm an idiot. It's not forward. Uh, vertical. Is it vertical? Yeah, it was vertical. So we need to lower it by two to where it's connected. And there you go. That's how you fuse it together. However, in case you're worried that you want to just make it to where he doesn't show the whole thing all the time, I will show you how to have a nifty little trick I figured out. All you have to do is go back to the control panel, go over to the projector again, and then click on Show Only Buildable. And then it'll just show you what pieces you need to build. And that is pretty much how you do it. It'll keep making things appear. What I would recommend you do so you make sure you don't accidentally screw up on building, because I actually have doing this, is after, like, let's build the bottom row. Well, actually, just literally just build one layer at a time. Go from bottom to top, depending on how your layout is, or go side to side, and I don't know. It all depends on how you're building, but I would recommend doing one layer at a time. So that way it does not screw up at all. Anyways, so long as you do all of that and everything works correctly, you can pretty much just go back to my rover and you can see how it pretty much looks when it's completed. And then I still gotta fix the steering on this thing. And also not be so far away from the damn rover. Anyways, that has been a Space Engineer's projector, blah, 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 projector and Blueprint Tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. And I will hope you like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.